G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do something really fun today. I know, every, every time I do something I think it's fun, but this is going to be more fun. Look, look at these. Aren't these just Adora Bubble? I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> I made these. Um, look, they look like, like little glass pebbles, don't they? But they're only thin. And I thought, what about if I put them in my turtle? Yes, because they kind of look like bubbles and they're all watery and, you know, water colours and things like that. So I'm going to show you how I made these. Um, and then I'm going to put them in my turtle. Something just fell in there that didn't belong, but get out. There it is. I don't know what that is. So anyway, um, last time... I used this mold. I did this amazing turtle with the little pebbles in it. So I'm going to use the same mold as this one. I love this mold. It's got such a gorgeous little face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to put these in and, and just see to see what it looks like. So I'll move that over there. Um, and um, yeah, I've already got quite a lot there, but I'll show you how I did it and um, then we'll get started. So the first thing I did was I grabbed my UV resin. This one is from Let's Resin. And I grabbed a variety of blues and turquoises and lime green just in alcohol inks. Nothing that's too highly concentrated, so I'm not using the Let's Resin. Um, I've just got basically all Ranger except one Deco Rom. So yeah, that's um, that's what I've used. So, it's just something that's really pale. Okie dokes. Um, this one, this is really pale, this one. It's called Aqua and it's by Ranger. So it was, it was this little guy here. You probably can't see it all that well. That color, <laughs> my holographic sheet. <laughs> Um, but you can you can change the color um, depending on how much ink you use. So I'm just using a little medicine cup like that, and we'll pour some in. I probably should just take the nozzle off. Depending on how much you want. Now, when I did all those, I actually just used the same cup, um, and then when it was empty I put a little bit more resin in added a different color so they're all basically the same you know the same tone so it doesn't matter if there was a little bit of resin left in um, the cup I just I just added to it or if I wanted it slightly darker you know, I'd have I'd use half of what's here in the cup and then for the next half I'd make it another little drop to make it a bit darker See if we can get rid of some of those little bubbles in there. All right, so um, this, like I said, it's the aqua, this one. And we'll just do, do three drops. Go slowly first. I know that the aqua is quite a pale color, so I'm happy with three, but normally <laughs> you wouldn't do three. Just do, do two, or no, just do one. Oh gosh, now I've just got more bubbles in there. So, um, yeah, look at that. It's gorgeous colour, isn't it? I've got on the sort of a whitish background so that you can see see the colours there. Give them a little bit of a, a zap. Um, look, but I guess it doesn't really matter if there's bubbles, you know. It's underwater. It's bubbly. Bubbles are in water. All right, so now I just take a little bit of a scoop and I drop like so. See, how easy is that? And uh, depending on how big you want them, you can do little drops, you can do big drops. I've got it, this is a sheet of plastic here. I've just got a, I just cut um, a plastic bag open. One of the ones that I pack my molds in. I just, I just cut that open. And um, yeah, use that. Whoops, <laughs> that one's no good. Um, try to take your time, don't rush, just do a little Try and drop from up high, that way you'll get a better circle. If you try and sort of bring it down too low, you'll stick. 
um, you'll get more of a like an oval or something like that so there's a bit left in there I'm gonna have to throw that one out if there's any that don't work you can just chuck them but um, it's a fun thing to do and now to that I am going to add a drop of aquamarine get in there <laughs> I want like half a drop <laughs> Get in there. That's the aquamarine. If you think it's going to be too dark, you start on the stick like that so it kind of runs down into the into the resin if you don't want it to be too dark. Because it's really hard getting like a quarter of a drop, isn't it? Whereas if you let it run onto the stick, um, you know, only a little bit's going to run in into your cup. All right, so there we go. So now we've changed the colour and we'll put some of those ones in as well so you don't have to use all of the same color if you want to add a different color you can do you can make bigger drops you can make smaller drops you can get a few drops from the same stick So my plastic's not sitting. Oh no! <laughs> okay, it, it wants to tip over. Um, my plastic's maybe not sitting as flat as it should. Um, maybe it's a good idea to actually, if your plastic wants to move, you can just you can tape it down. It's probably a better idea. Pull it flat, tape it down, because they don't always want to lie flat for some reason, do they? Just, there you go. All right, that'll do. Um, now, I've got a little bitty left, and I am going to add, I'm careful of that, <laughs> careful of my stick that wants to fall over. I'm going to add a drop of lime to that. So you can see how I'm changing the color, but only just using that same small little bit that I put in. And that's what I did with these. I just added more. And if I wanted a different colour, um, I just added a little bit more resin and uh, went again. So that's basically all I did. It's pretty easy, isn't it? I know. I told you it was easy. Little drops. Just make sure you give them enough room because they will spread a little bit and put them all on top of each other. I'm trying not to like touch the plastic. I'm just trying to let them drop off on their own. That way I'll get a better, a better shape drop. It's pretty much all I'm going to get, I think. Try and scrape it all out. So yeah, you know, I'm trying to get some bigger drops and some smaller drops. All right, so that's basically it. Now all we have to do is put our lamp over the top and off we go. So yeah, I know it's easy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'll put it on for a, I'll probably do two minutes um, and then I'll come back to you. Righto, so it's had its two minutes. I'll pop it under the table here. Um, I also put my stick in as well and changed it after a minute so that it was cured and um, I could use it again. All right, let's see if these little little guys are ready. They sound ready. Let's take the plastic off, tape off, and then I'll take the plastic off. All right, so basically. That's them. I'm just going to scrape them like so. Get them off the plastic. Um, you could use a, a silicone sheet as well. You don't have to use plastic. Basically, that's them. <laughs> Look how cute they are. <laughs> so, yeah, that's them. Um, oh, that was the one that I 
my squash so we can just any that you don't like the shape of or you know that have melted together a bit you can just put them aside um, and use the ones that you that you are happy with so yeah easy hey and it's a fun little project you could you could have all different colors like you don't have to have you know water themed you could have um, all kinds of colors depending on what you want to do actually I probably wouldn't suggest you use the plastic only because as the um, resin is heated it's kind of I don't know if you can see it's kind of crinkled the plastic when I made these I did actually use um, a silicone sheet but I wanted to see through them <laughs> onto the white background but yeah probably don't use the plastic because I can see the plastic as it's as the resin's heated um, it's kind of scrunched it I mean that's fine you can still use these there's no problem with using them all right so um, this is the mold I'm going to use my turtle mold that's it there and uh, I'll use these just because you know I made them yesterday and I know they're, they're fully cured and there's no wrinkles on the bottom <laughs> all right um, now I'm, I'm a bit in two minds about how to do this you guys I'll zoom you in a bit so the first option is kind of layering them in like so um, pouring the resin in over the top of them or we mix this with the resin and we just pour it all in together and it just you know does its thing um, or we pour some resin in put a few of these on let it set a bit pour more resin another layer let it set so yeah there's a I think there'd be a few different ways of doing it and um, I'm not quite sure which way I'm going to go yet I'll have a think about it as I'm mixing up my resin I know this turtle takes about 130 grams so 11 12 ounces so I'm just going to do 100 grams of a 43 grams of B that's 143 grams um, and it's a little bit of extra so I'd rather have extra than not enough and I'm going to use my river table resin so I'm going to mix it up and I'll be right back as I was stirring my platinum river table resin I was thinking to myself I don't think this is going to work so I have changed over to the platinum 360 plus I just need to get my little bottle of alcohol spray which I've left on the other side of the table so I was because I was thinking if I fill this up with resin all my little beads are just going to all flow into the center and that's not what I want so I've mixed up just a little bit of the platinum 360 plus I'm going to go in the head there as well Bit of a spray that's just 100% isopropyl it's isopropyl <laughs> alcohol right so I'm gonna pour some in um, the, the alcohol spray just helps with um, eliminating too many bubbles so I'm gonna pour a little bit in it's hard for me to see what's going on in that head there I think I've got enough it's hard to see. Okay. Uh, now, yeah, I don't need a very, I don't need a lot. I don't think I need a lot. So here we go. I'm going to pick them up with my little tweezers. Are they floating? <laughs> I don't even know if they're floating or if they're sinking. So because the 360 plus, oh gosh, oh, okay. The 360 plus um, is, it, it, like it sets up pretty quickly. These are sticking to my tweezers. Yeah, that sets up pretty quickly. So I'll be able to do a few layers today. Now I'm making sure that I'm putting the curved side down. I'm just kind of dropping them. If they overlap, it doesn't matter. Don't matter. Now that one's not a very good shape. That's like a teardrop, so we'll get rid of that one. Put a little, little one in there as well. I think my tweezers must have touched the resin at some stage. So I don't mind if I overlap a little bit. Um, 
they actually look as if they might be floating. <laughs> that, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, they're only little, they're not very heavy. I've got two stuck together here. Some of them have got like a little air bubble in them, so I'm going to put them aside. Like, a, like it's a little raised air bubble. And you can feel it. Um, but yeah, I mean the UV resin, you do get some bubbles in it. Oops, okay, yep, you can go there. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you can do. It's got a bit of a bubble on it. So you can just come through and check which ones you want to use. Pick the best ones. So I'm, I'm assuming they're just going to float across the top, which is which is kind of perfect because when you turn it out, you'll be looking through a little thin layer of clear resin into these bubbles and it'll give that, um, you know, that watery appearance. You know, when you're looking through water, everything looks magnified and looks a bit surreal. Now, I'm going to go, uh, where do you want to go? You can, yeah, you can go there. So I've got a few different shades in there. You can see different shades. Um, now let's pick pick one. I'm gonna pick. I'll do probably a couple layers for the head as well. I'm just gonna pick this sort of pale turquoise and pop it in there. And then we can fit another couple of smaller ones in there as well. I think. Get a little lime one as well. A few different colours in there. And again, I, um, I don't mind if they kind of overlap a little bit. It'll be fine. How big's the head? <laughs> I'm just looking. Um, okay, so I probably should try and get one a little bit further down into his little snoz there. A little nose. There's a little tiny one. Oh, there's a cute little, there's a cute little tiny one. I can get it. Um, no, I think I want this pale one. Do I? No, turquoise. <laughs> God, I can't pick it up. <laughs> oh gosh. So I've got some um, like darker blue in here as well. Um, and some turquoise and some teal and little bit just flicked it right across the table. Oh gosh. Let me get it. Okay, I've got it. <laughs> now let's pop it back in. Make sure it's clean. Don't squeeze them. <laughs> I go flying across the room. All right, now let's see if I can get that right in as far as it'll go. No, no actually, I probably need to fill it up a little bit more because. I'm filling what's down here at the moment, so I probably need to wait until it's a little bit um, deeper up. Deeper? A little bit deeper. Okay. Um, come on, on. So what I'll do, I'll just put a couple more on here. Um, and then when I do my next layer, um, I, I probably won't talk you through it. Um, I'll just, I'll just do it. Otherwise, you know, it's going to take forever. So I'll just do it. And um, put you on sort of fast forward. And I guess we don't have to have it like totally, totally covered, she says, as so she adds another one. <laughs> Now my um, tweezers are getting a bit sticky. Um, I think I want like a little green one over on this side. There's a cute little green one just there. If I can get it. Ah, dropped him. Ah, gosh. All right, make sure that you've got the domed side down and it's just sort of sitting half overlapping on that other one all right I think that'll do for for now um, don't probably need to do too too much actually just the neck um, I've got some of that are really pale like that like it's 
almost almost clear so all right so that'll do for the next layer um, when I come back with the second layer it's going to be exactly the same except I'm going to pour another centimeter I'm just going to do like three or four we'll see how we go three or four layers um, but yeah, you probably don't need to hear me talking about it each time. It's going to be exactly the same. So I will see you a bit later once these have had a bit of time to cure. But uh, yeah, they look as if they're all look as if they're all floating. You look in there. There's a few in there. Okay, that's going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so cool. All right, see you soon. Right, third and last layer. Now I'm being really careful. I haven't got my gloves on. I just found that because I had a bit of resin on my gloves um, from mixing, the little pebbles kept sticking to it. And then if I dipped my tweezers in, then the tweezers got resin on them. And then oh, I was just getting into a bit of sticky mess. So I'm just going to put a little bit of resin up on the flippers here. Whoa, that's a bit much. I don't want to put too much in on there because I need to allow for some room for the, the pebbles. So just a thin layer, spread it out. It's not a lot of room on the flippers. That's that's a bit much. That's a bit much. All right, let's put a bit back because <laughs> it. When I put the pebbles in, it is going to displace this resin anyway. It's probably best if I add some more later on. Later on. All right. Okay. Um, give it a quick little torch. I don't think there's any bubbles there, but just to be on the safe side. All right. Here we go. Last little layer. I get to do the flippers. There we go. I'm just going to be really careful and just drop them in. See, this? they're a bit sticky. I think they got some, I think they must have got some resin on them at some stage. There's those two stuck together. Oh, it's a pity you're upside down. Oh, no, not too bad. I'm just being careful. I'm not touching the resin. Don't worry. I'm being careful. I'm just laying them down and then a bit later I'll get my toothpick and I'll just poke them in if they need poking. And these two are stuck together. Come back to that. <laughs> stuck together. This one's got a bit of a bubble in it. But, uh, is that one there? Yep. Yeah. I can't see if that's one or not because they're so they're so transparent. They're gorgeous though but they are quite transparent so it's a bit difficult to see if there's one already there. Uh, get in. Mm. Trying to get some different colors.
colours as well happening. Bit of turquoise. Oops, I've got it. Oh, better remember to do the this area as well, his back. I'm concentrating on the little flippers and I'm not concentrating on his back. Although there's plenty in there, so you probably don't need a lot, you know, on, on the back. Because you probably won't see that. Let's see if I can, no, I can't shove one in there. A nice teal one. That one's quite clear. It can just sit there. How about some dark green? There we go. There's the dark green ones that I've made today. You can go there because they're only little. Okay, there we go, we get in there, they're almost done, almost done. Now I can't actually see, <laughs> I can't see where I'm putting these because I can see the ones underneath, so yeah, I don't really know where they're going. I'm just gonna, just gonna put them anywhere. And if I need to put a little bit more resin on, I'll just drizzle it on afterwards. It won't be a problem. Oops, don't want you there. I'm trying to do a little bit of overlapping here of my colours, just on the, the flippers. If there's enough room to do some overlapping, I'd like to do that. Oops, you're upside down. Flip over. That's the way. <laughs> Make there's a few there. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see. The ones that are really quite clear. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to see. Because I'm looking at the ones below, so I yeah, can't really tell which ones I'm, I'm looking at. Here's a nice dark blue one. And that one can go just in the corner there, but I'm thinking I need to add just a little drizzle of resin and then I'm gonna pop you in the corner there, like so. Okay, I'll just give a little bit more of a drizzle. This little flipper over here could do with a little bit more. I just didn't want to overfill them beforehand. I wasn't sure if I had enough room to put all the, the beads in. Okay, that's looking good. I just need a, another couple of little beads just here because now I've added some more resin. So I can just sort of float on top there. Because until you've got all the resin in that you want to put in, you can't, you know, put the top layer on because there was no resin there to put them on. Uh, okay, now this one needs a little bit more. There's probably some clear ones in there, but I can't see them. Oh, there's a teensy weensy little one. I want this little teensy weensy one. Look, look how cute it is. You can just go there on the end. I can get you there. Slide you in from the side. Poke you in. All right, I think that's um, I think that's pretty much it, you guys, as to what I can add. I 
very pale little blue one. <laughs> I'm trying to use up all my bits. I might as well, hey. I can't use them for anything else, really. I'll just, I'll just drop them all in. I can't see where there are any underneath, so I'm just going to drop them all in. Who else needs some? There. I'll try and separate these ones if I can. No, I can't separate those for some reason. Don't know why. I think I'm I think I'm done. I'm just gonna do this last one. You're probably bored, stupid. Here we go. You can go in there. Oops. No, you've already got one there. Okay. You can go there. Hopefully you haven't got too much. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um and then yeah, we'll just wait till tomorrow. the top. If you particularly wanted to you could wait till it was all cured and then just do like a, a top coat so nothing poked through or you could just go along and you know poke things down but look it's going to be the back it's not like they're sticking out a lot. Oh, there's a tiny bit of resin there I need to add a little bit more there. All right that's it. I've taken enough of your time. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will unmold this gorgeous creature. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Let's have a look. See how this creation of mine has come out. Whether or not my idea has come to fruition. Oh, I didn't put enough resin in there. Ah, I thought I did. And never mind. I can top that up. I'll put some UV resin just on that little flipper there. I thought I had put enough in. So it comes out nice and easy. We just give it a bit of a wriggle, wriggle, wriggle there. And it's out. Look, so shiny, that mould. <gasps> Gorgeous. All right. Now, are we ready? Oh, there's another little bit I've missed. Ah, never mind. I, I can just pop some UV resin in those areas just to um, fix those up. Are we ready? Oh, look at that. <gasps> Oh, that is so cool. Look at him. Oh, wow. And you can see inside there, there's more little little bubbles floating around in there. I mean, little pebbles, not bubbles. <laughs> I don't see any bubbles, really. Oh, well, maybe just a couple, but it's resin, isn't it? You're going to get bubbles. Look at that. That is so cool. There's some floating around in his head. I don't know that you can see them all that easy. See, the only um, glass pebbles I have are those, you know, those really big ones like the um, table scatters. They're really big. So I thought I'd make my own and then they could like fit in the flippers and things as well because they're, they're not that thick, but, you know, they're thick enough, but not that thick to be putting huge stones in. So there we go. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, I love seeing all those little things floating around in there. <laughs> that is too cool. All right. Love him. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, look at his face. Look at that little face. Such a cute little face, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'm um, definitely going to be doing more on my turtle. got lots of ideas that I want to do on my turtle. I love it. I think this is my favorite turtle mold that I've got. I've got a few, but this is my favorite. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all for the next one. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.